If you clicked on this video, your sniper aim may look a lot like this. But after following this video, I guarantee you'll come out hitting snipes better. Contact with enemy. Last week, I asked for 5,000 likes for a sniper training exercise, and you guys delivered, so today I give you my end of the bargain. Let's quickly go over the things you need. First, a proper sniper build. I personally use this DLQ gunsmith build for training, but if you're crazy and you want to train harder, you can use this outlaw build. It's as fast as the Locust and one frame faster than DLQ's max ADS. It's a no-brainer, but a proper HUD and sensitivity for sniping is a must if you're trying to get better. However, you might find a more comfortable sensitivity once you start training. Oh, and fingers. You need fingers to play this game. We'll be taking a bit of a different approach this time, but you have to take no Notes of some things first. Enable data panel and quick reload for player parameters to track your accuracy and reload faster. Reset your data to count your streak or accuracy depending on the goal of each exercise. Move to the next exercise only when you've completed the one before it. Of course, we want to warm up our fingers for training and get used to the timing of when to fire as soon as your scope in. Let's do some quick scope warm-ups. Use these parameters shown on the screen and add 3 bots. Quick scope and eliminate each target until you get 30 kills with 100% accuracy. You'll be dealing with stationary targets at times, campers for example, or anyone heading straight towards you from long range. Again, use these bot parameters and add 3 to 4 bots. Like the previous exercise, get 30 kills with 100% accuracy. Remember to reset your data each time you miss. Let's chill with the quick scopes. Here's a quick word from our sponsor. Raid Shadow Legends Everyone greet Raid because they are celebrating 3 years this month. It's time to party because Raid Shadow Legends 3rd anniversary is one of the top RPG games out there. Month after month and they still kept adding new content and game modes. Just check out 120 levels of Doom Tower, hundreds of unique bosses and heroes, and it wasn't enough for Raid to add new characters so last year they added a whole new faction, Shadowkin, a tribe of warriors from the far east that are looking to kick some ass. Last but definitely not the least, the newest and biggest addition to Raid, the Hydra Clan boss. The biggest, baddest, scariest boss ever with multiple heads. Wait, does that mean that they have multiple with Raid's 3 year anniversary celebration, they are kicking things off with free gifts for everyone with a full month of special events and tournaments with some of the best prices on offer. We're talking badass champions, pals and pals of shards, and a lot more. If you're not playing yet, hit my link in the description or scan my QR code here on the screen and get a special huge birthday package with 3 champions and more. The gifts keep coming because all new and existing players can get a bunch of free birthday gifts worth over $25. Click the link on the description and just enter promo code 3 years raid to get your hands on everything. And it's that easy. Just click the link in the description and I'll see you in the game. Let's take things up a notch and do real quick scope training. Use these parameters and add 2 to 3 bots. This will force you to track enemies and make micro adjustments as well as training you to lead your crosser before even scoping in. Your goal is to get 20 kills while maintaining a 90% accuracy. For this, you're going to do the same thing but use these parameters and add 4 bots. This exercise is for taking down enemies that are far away from you, running towards a certain direction, wasting no time in tracking them. The goal for this exercise is to get 20 kills while maintaining 80% accuracy. Enough with quick scopes, let's train our hard scopes. This one's going to be easy for you, set your parameters just like this. Your goal is to get 30 kills with 100% accuracy. Try to be centered once the bolt action animation is finished. Immediately shoot and get the kill. This is to get accustomed to SND hard scoping and to your sniper sensitivity as well. Whenever you're quick scoping, there will be times where you have to adjust mid scope in animation. And while you're hard scoping, you have to react quickly to an enemy that comes into your field of view. That's where flicking or drag scoping comes in. Set your bot parameters and add 4 bots. Scope in right in the middle and flick to the nearest target you can see. I see flicking and drag scoping like the 3 point shot of COD Mobile. So for this, we're gonna be more forgiving to ourselves. So your goal is to get 15 kills with 50% accuracy. 
Of course, we can't forget about movement, so we'll practice slide peeking with our snipers. It's completely up to you if you want to slide cancel, but we'll train scanning for targets after slide peeking and quick scoping immediately. Use these exact parameters to make the bots feel game like. Your goal is to get 10 kills with 80% accuracy, doing it from each side. One of the moves you can also do is jump peeking. Again, once you jump, scan for a target and quick scope. Use the same parameters from the slide peak training and aim for 10 kills with 80% accuracy from both sides. Now we're entering the unnecessary part of the training, but I think it'll be helpful for mastering and finding your perfect sniper sensitivity. Use these parameters and face away from the range, sliding, then making a 180. Scan for a target quickly, scope in, and eliminate that target. Do this until you get 10 kills with at least 70% accuracy. Now you might have seen Profusi do this in game, so let's try to copy him. 360s are not needed to train for snipers, but like I said, it'll help you train your standard sensitivity, helping you center before you even scope in. Your goal for this one is to get 10 kills while maintaining 80% accuracy. I'm gonna make sure you have someone to train with, so get your gaming phone and do this training with me from start to finish. Now that we're done training, head on to Ranked and see if your sniping improved. What's your number one sniping tip? Let us know down in the comments below. If you want to learn more about sniping, you can click this video right here. Or if you want to know the best sniper rifles you can use, watch this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.